need this brother? You? It's true that God wants to use you. Eh? Amen. You know, because people are prophesying you. Amen. It's not true. It's true. They are prophesying that God wants to use you, want to use you. Amen. But you know, you must relax. Amen. You must relax. Uh, otherwise, you can lose what God wants to give you. I receive. Huh? I receive. I'm seeing people prophesying you. Amen. Huh? Amen. It's true. You want to use you, but relax. Otherwise, Amen. let me pray for you. Leave him, leave him, leave him. If he falls down, he will remember. He will remember what I'm telling him. Bring him. But there's confusion. There's confusion. People are confusing you. Amen. So what you can do, relax. But someone says, God wants to use you to be a prophet, you relax. He wants to use you to be an apostle, relax. Are you hearing me? Amen. Well, these people are telling you many things. Even this one. Come. Did you prophesy him? Yes, he's my son. He's your son? Yes, sir. You prophesy him? Yes, sir. So that's why I'm saying this. So don't always prophesy. It's confusing him. Because he's asking himself when he's going to see visions. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. He asked you? Yes, sir. He said what? He asked me when I'm going to release him, so I released him already. He's running a ministry now. He asked you if when you're going to release him? Yes, we spoke about being released. He said he wants to go, so he has a ministry now. Why you release him so quick? He said he wants to, it's time. He felt, he felt it's time to leave. He was insulting you. How can a son tell the father that it's my time? He's insulting you. It means you can't hear God. So you can't succeed this man. You need to calm down. If possible, bring him back to you. Yes, if you have got a child, you send someone. You bring this one to you. You hear me? Yes, sir. Because even what he's doing, he doesn't know what he's doing. It's not true. It's true. Eh? It's true. Sometimes he doesn't even know what he's supposed to preach about, this man. So if he carry on, they will attack him. For you. He was supposed to have waited for you. Come here. He was supposed to have waited for you, this man. Yes, sir. You hear me? Amen. Eh? Amen. Take my advice. There is nobody who's late to be used by God. Are you hearing me? Amen. Eh? Amen. Go back. You say, I want to submit to this man. Is then you'll be a prophet if you do that. I'm still with him. Eh? I'm still submitting to him. With another church? Sorry? You have your own church? Yes, I'm running services in Soweto, but I'm still with him on Sundays. Don't run service, eh? Come back, you say you want to submit here. We don't run service. You understand? Amen. You are taking my advice. Amen. Eh? Amen. Please leave this issue of Soweto. Come back here. You stand with this man. So that God will lift you. Amen. God will lift you if you do that. will lift you. If not, I'm telling you, you'll, keep, you'll do business. Even now, you are thinking about business. It's not true. Amen. Eh? Amen. It's not true. It's true. Eh? It's true. So you do business. If you, what you can do, just come to this man, say, you are my father. You are, not, you are not wasting time. You are with him. You are my father. You are my father. This man will release you. If not... God will speak with him. Now visions will come to you. Now you can have visions. Or am I lying to you? It's true. Eh? It's true. Yes. So I'm saying this to you, that he must come back to you and stay with you. Don't resist people early. You are destroying yourself. You heard that? Yes, sir. Because there are men who are coming to you like this. It's true. Eh? It's true, sir. So that you release them. 
Even people want to divide your church as we are here. It's true. Eh? It's true, sir. Eh? It's true. They want to divide it now. So allow those who want to divide to divide. But this one, we are like high. Amen. And the advice I'm giving him is a very good advice for him to be what God wants him to be. Some people they don't know. They think uh, if this one open a church there, another one open a church there, or you are here, your pastor open a church there. They don't know. They are witches and wizards. They are satanists. They can see. Yourself you can't see. You know ministry is very dangerous. Without hearing God. Ministry is very dangerous. You see people sitting looking at you. They say amen. Country they are killing you. I was in Nigeria. You hear me? I went to preach another church. In the evening they came to me. They came. They jumped. Six ladies. Obanje. You know what this Obanje? They are obanges. I'm telling you now. So people like this, if they are not well trained and stay with their father, many people are like that. They are feeling sorry. The ministry does like this. I'm sure you understand this. Yes. So we need to learn this. They are obanges. Six people came to me. I said, I was seeing them. I was sleeping with another brother. This brother said, oh. I said, in Jesus' name. They say, we don't want you here. We don't want you here. This is spiritual warfare. Now, our children, they don't know. But the moment when they see this one doing like this, they want to get money. You just see someone like this now, you want to get money. They are all banjo. You think here, there's no satanicity. They are here. They are trying to do like this. So that I fall down. When I fall down, I say, you see, he's not a man of God. So now when you are fully trained under the shadow of your father, even if you can't see, that covering works for you. How many of you are hearing me? Because, you, look here, this is what I need to say now. Our young people now, they are making mistakes. That's why when they've got money, they've got pride. That's the main problem now. Money kills them easy. As if there's the other people, they don't have money. So the moment once you are under your father, I know this thing, I've got my children here who respect me so much. You see that man from uh, Lesotho? That man. I'll tell you what that man did before I continue here. That man... He had a church in Tembisa. He leave his church and tell people, I say, I'm going to Charis. And surrender to Charis here. When he was here, I heard God says, I want to use this man in Lesotho. But he was having a church here. You can drop your ministry down by rushing. He was here. You can ask that man, will tell you. Just give him a mic, you'll learn. Because I've got many pastors here, even those who want to be pastors here. Rushing is very dangerous. These people can see. Demons can see. Every, you know, witches can see. That is why pastors are suffering now. You're not suffering because you're not called. You are suffering because you are rushing. You are rushing. Tell them, brother. That is true, daddy. Uh, when I came to Charis here, yes, I was, uh, uh, I was pastoring a church that I founded. And uh, one day, I came to visit Charis here. And uh, uh, when I got here, I saw people are doing like this. And uh, they were doing it like uniformly. If you see 20 people are doing the same thing and you don't know about this or the anointing, you begin to criticize because you don't know. So I, I was invited in churches around Tembisa here to preach and I was discouraging people to come here. And uh, yeah, one day God spoke to me and said, why, why am I persecuting his church? 
I, I, was, I was very concerned. I said, how do I persecute your church? Where, which church am I persecuting? Then it was clear. I was at home. It was clear. He said, Charis, I cried and cried and repented and I came here to church. And uh, uh, when I came here, the lady was praying for people. And he, he, he located me. He said, Brother, do you know why, why people are falling next to you? I said, I don't know. He said, are you, are you a pastor? I see a great light. Now I came here to confess, to repent, and to let him know, basically, that I, I, I have been speaking against the church. So I, I was shocked because I was not even sure that I... I'm called as a pastor. So when he said, are you a pastor? I see a great light. That was a confirmation for me. But on the other side, I was saying, oh my God, I've been fighting this anointing. I've been fighting the church. And the people that I have told not to come here, I was just wondering, how can I fix or repair that? And so after the service, I, I came to him and I told him that I've been... I've been uh, persecuting, uh, fighting the church. And he said to me, uh, you are forgiven. I told the people that I was pastoring for that I'm, I'm no more your pastor. Even there is, there is uh, we have Tepo there, we have the, the brother Tepo there, uh, Daddy, uh, and this some, some people. Yes, Daddy. Come, Tepo. And so I said, I'm no more your pastor, I'm no more a pastor, I'm going to be submitting here, I'm going to be just a member. I'm going to be just a, a member of this who, church. Who, who was Tepo? Tepo, Tepo was, was uh, attending in, in, the, in, in our church. He was a member of that church? He yes, yes, yes. So this man. So he yes. came here, even him follow here. Yes, that is. You see. So I became, I became a member of the church and no more a pastor. I didn't worry about it the tithe, the offerings anymore, I, I, I became a member of Charis Missionary Church. Yes. Yes. Can you see? Let me try to tell you. What you do to others, people will do to you. Like him now. People are going to him. Going to him. So a man like this, you can't destroy because he destroy his, so you can't destroy. <laughs> you know, you destroy the one who destroy others. So this one who destroy his, you can destroy. God bless you. <laughs>